A spiritual journey is an individual's quest for deeper understanding, self-awareness, and enlightenment. This journey transcends the physical realm and delves into the essence of existence, seeking to unravel the mysteries of life, purpose, and the soul. It is a path characterized by introspection, growth, and transformation, often marked by significant experiences and profound realizations. From an early age, we are conditioned by our surroundings family, friends, schools, and society at large. We develop an internal voice that constantly narrates our experiences, passing judgment and telling stories about our actions and thoughts. This voice, which we come to identify as our true self, starts speaking when we are very young and grows more influential as we age. However, it's crucial to understand that this voice is not who we truly are. It's merely a part of our consciousness, much like characters in a movie we watch. When we watch a film, we know we are not the characters on the screen, we are simply observers of their stories. Similarly, the voice in our head is not our true self, it is a narrator, not the essence of our being. Our upbringing teaches us to interpret the world through words and ideas. Over time, we become so engrossed in these verbal and conceptual interpretations that we start believing they define us. As adults, this internal voice becomes a relentless critic, constantly judging us and comparing us to societal standards. We seek approval and validation from others, wanting to be liked, respected, and seen as successful according to external measures. This internal critic evaluates our worth by measuring us against the expectations set by society. It is a relentless force, always comparing us to others and to an idealized version of ourselves. It doesn't stop at the present, it often revisits our past, reminding us of our mistakes and instilling feelings of guilt and shame. Simultaneously, it projects into the future, filling our minds with worries and fears about things that haven't happened yet. Ironically, the more we try to avoid certain feelings, the more they seem to intensify. For instance, feelings of inadequacy or unworthiness, often instilled in childhood by well-meaning but critical parents, can grow stronger as we attempt to evade them. The mind focuses on what we tell it to avoid, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy where the very feelings we try to escape become more pronounced. This phenomenon occurs because our mind is highly adept at focusing on what we direct it to avoid. By trying to shield ourselves from painful emotions, we end up concentrating on them more, reinforcing their presence in our consciousness. The voice in our head is persistent, discussing our past actions, future plans, and others' perceptions of us. It can be highly critical, making us feel inadequate, or it can tell us stories that make us feel good. Regardless of its tone, this voice is not the real us. The true self is deeper and more wonderful, capable of listening to this voice without being consumed by it. Our authentic self can discern which thoughts to believe and which to dismiss. This realization is like discovering a superpower it changes how we perceive ourselves and our minds. We don't have to let these thoughts control us. Instead, we can choose which ones to engage with and which to ignore. Understanding that we are not our thoughts, but the observer of them brings a profound shift. It allows us to step back from the constant chatter of the mind and find a peaceful, quiet space within. In this space, we can create a kinder, more positive inner dialogue, treating ourselves with the same compassion and support we would offer a friend. This new perspective brings light and hope into our minds. We realize we are more than a collection of thoughts and feelings, we are the silent witness, the steady presence behind every emotion. Like a tree, standing firm through changing seasons and weather, we remain constant amidst the ebb and flow of our experiences. Grasping this concept liberates us from the endless cycle of reacting to every thought and emotion. We become the masters of our own minds, capable of choosing which thoughts to entertain and which to let go. This newfound freedom allows us to exist in the present moment, free from the turmoil of our inner critic. We can cultivate a peaceful and happy inner life by understanding and embracing our role as the observer. This is the essence of the spiritual journey, a path of self-discovery, inner peace, and profound transformation. It teaches us that we are more than our thoughts and feelings, 
more than the stories our minds create. We are the essence of awareness, capable of observing and shaping our own inner worlds. The spiritual journey is a lifelong quest for deeper understanding and self-awareness. It requires us to look beyond the surface of our thoughts and feelings and recognize the true essence of our being. By learning to observe our thoughts without getting lost in them, we can find inner peace and live a more fulfilling, authentic life. This journey is not about reaching a destination, but about continually evolving and growing, discovering new depths of ourselves and our connection to the universe.